What's up guys? It's uh, Rich Duper Bash again here. Just want to make a quick running video. Um, this is my son's Typhon uh, success. Uh, basically, he's kind of been getting outdone with the Creighton and also the Outcast. Um, we've been going to some really rough spots. So I decided to trugify his. Um, essentially, I just put Creighton hubs, axles, and um, I put in some new Avid bearings, some sealed bearings, because we've been getting wet. Um, this thing is completely overgeared right now. He normally runs on 4S, so I really have to watch the temps. It's got a 20 tooth pinion in it. Um, obviously, anytime you go up with a big uh, wheel diameter, you want to be real mindful. It's the same as gearing up, uh, that you don't overheat your electronics. So I just taped up some Badlands 3.8s on Desperado wheels, half inch offset, put some uh, Gorilla tape in there. Um, and so basically I got, we're about an inch wider, uh, definitely wider with the bigger tires on. The problem is with a, a monster truck tire like this would rub until I put on Creighton hubs, axles, and hexes. So let's give this a try. And again, that's front and back. So way more traction. All right, we're just gonna do some mellow hits off the ramp. See how this goes. I don't like to face this way, but we'll give her a try. Oh, this thing's just an animal. Again, this is really geared up, so I'm gonna keep a cl close eye on these temps. Almost got my shin. Wet's uh, grass is really wet at the moment. All right, let's try this again here. Oh my gosh, this thing is, this thing's gonna be a beast. All right, let me just real quickly check my temps. I don't wanna fry these stock electronics. They've actually worked really well for me. Let's see here. So 107 on the motor. Oop. So yeah, this thing is gonna be really fun to drive. I think my son is gonna love it. Oh shit. Yeah, our last uh, jump session, we just got completely out of control and really thrashed the stuff a little bit. That's what you call it. I meant to abort that takeoff, but these wheels are gonna take some getting used to. Yeah, this is gonna be a nice little truck right here. I really don't want to do any backflips. I want to keep this, this guy in one piece until my son gets to drive it. Oh, this is going to be a, a beast. So basically you have better handling than the Outcast, but definitely uh, with the ground clearance. Oh, uh-oh, not good. What was that?
That didn't sound good. I think I shaved the ramp. That's why I like to stand behind. I like to stand behind the ramp so I can see what's going on. Hold on a second. Hmm. Something, something's making a crackly noise and I don't like it. Whoops. All right, let's check it out. I don't know if there's something in the drivetrain or what. Here, hold on a sec. All right, sounds all right. One more jump and I gotta go, guys. Something doesn't sound right. I can't tell if that's the body bouncing off the off the car or what. Here, let's just take a quick look. It's really wet and sloppy, and I gotta say, these Badlands 3.8s, man, they hook up. And I'm really glad I took the time to tape them because I don't see any ballooning whatsoever. So, tons of stick and dirt out here. Not sure what's making that noise. Alright, do one more big in, maybe, and then see how she does. Now, I have not done any chassis support, chassis brace like some of the guys are doing on when they trugify, monsterify their, their uh, Typhons. So, anyway, hopefully she holds up the way she is. I am considering maybe doing something with this type of body on though it'd be pretty whoops this front clip has been busted loose let's try one more something doesn't sound right oh that doesn't sound right at all I'm gonna all right guys that's it I think the pinion I wonder if this pinion slipped. All right, I'm gonna cut this short, guys, because the smart thing to do when you know something's wrong with your RC is just stop. So, anyway, I was hoping to bust a big backflip or something, but I'll figure out what it is, and I will report back. I did have a hard time with his center diff. Man, these gears are hot. When I was uh, putting this guy back together, that bearing, the bearing that goes right inside the motor mount is a bitch to push in. So anyway, let's get some real quick temps. Again, this thing's completely overgeared. I should probably be running a 14 or a 16. And I need to drink more coffee, I think. So yeah, we're looking at, I don't know if you can see that, but the hottest part of the can is about 116. And the ESC is 103, 104. Anyway, that's it guys. This thing looks like it's going to be a beast. I'll figure out what's making that noise. Hopefully I'm not chewing up a gear. Peace out. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody.